Hey everyone and welcome to part three in our series on Vizio connectors. In this lesson we are going to look at the glue settings which can be very confusing and we're going to look at the rerouting behavior. Maybe less confusing but there's a lot of options and it can really be frustrating if you don't understand that rerouting behavior. Let's get started. So this lesson will start out by taking a look at the glue settings. And as we do this, we will also build on some of the other lessons that have been explored in this series on Vizio connectors. So I've got a connector that goes between this shape and that shape. This is a static connection on this side, a dynamic connection on this side, and the connection has these right angles. So you can see as I move this around, I've got this weird little right angle in the connector, and I can fix that if I want to, as you've seen earlier, by either choosing a straight connector or I can go to the design tab of the ribbon and choose my connectors here as long as the connector is selected and choose a straight line. Now as I move this, this point is connected to that point and if I want to simply connect the shapes together, I can select the connector and I can move this connection point to the shape itself, glue it to the shape. So you saw that little screen tip that showed up where it says glue to shape and that's what's going on. That allows the connection to go to that shape no matter where the shape lives. Now that's going to be probably what you want in the vast majority of your Visio diagrams, but it's important to understand where that glue setting is configured. And it's done either on the document level or on the layer level. And to do it at the document level, you go to the View tab of the ribbon, and then you've got this collection here of visual aids, this grouping, which doesn't seem to be where you'd find the snap and glue settings, but if I hover over that, it says snap and glue, this little dialog box indicator that says snap and glue. So if I give this a click, this opens up, and you can see that currently active is snap and glue. So this is the one we want to focus on. There's a lot of things that are options on this tab. And again, just to keep things simple and digestible, all you have to do is uncheck glue. That's the only thing we're going to concentrate on in this lesson. So notice as soon as I disable this, all of this gets grayed out. It is unselectable. If it is selected, then I can glue to and I have some choices here. And again, just notice the defaults here is that the connection points is something that the connectors are glued to. So the connection points include the connection point for the shape itself when you're building those dynamic connections. So again, I'll uncheck this and click on OK, and then let's see the behavior of the connector. Well, it looks like it's still glued to the shape, doesn't it? Well, that's because when you draw your connector, when you create that connector, whatever is in effect at the time is retained by the connector, whatever behavior is enabled. So this was glued to that shape when I disabled it at the document level, the connector itself retained that ability or that behavior of being glued to that shape. Now, if I draw another connector between this shape, and I'll use this connection point, that shape and that shape right there, and then I go back to my pointer tool so I can select the shape itself, when I move that shape, notice that the connection point does not move. It is not glued to the shape right here. So maybe this is something you want if you're drawing some kind of a process diagram and maybe you're just experimenting with some different things. You don't necessarily want the connector to move each and every time you're adding uh, additional items to maybe a section of your drawing. You just want that arrow to point to the lower right hand side as we get to the close of a process, for example, or maybe an org chart, something like that. Now the other place where you can configure the glue properties is you can do it on the on a layer by layer basis. So if you go to the home tab and look in this editing group over here, you got layers in this drop down layer properties and there's a separate glue setting here where you can individually enable the glue settings or disable the glue settings for a particular layer or in this case a particular connector. But again, I think for most of the documents you work with, the thing to keep in mind is to go to the View tab and then open up Visual Aids and then disable the glue settings before you draw your connectors if you want the glue disabled. So in the next part, 
let's look at rerouting connectors. And this really could be titled rerouting the elements on your Visio drawing. And to demonstrate this, I've just reset the table a little bit. I've got this connector with a right angle, and I've got a third shape that I'll be working with. So one of the things you might notice about Visio is that if you've got a connector between two shapes and you add a third shape, that sometimes it can make the connector go like this. And what can be a little bit frustrating about this is if I move the shape right back down to where it was, even though the connector is dynamic in nature, the rerouting behavior doesn't correct itself, or it's not really an error, it's just kind of a feature of the application. So the only way to go back is to hit undo a couple of times. Now you can manage this behavior by going to the developer tab. If you don't know how to add the developer tab, it's one of the things you can add when you customize the ribbon, and that's true for any Office application. So when the shape is selected, you can go up to Shape Design, and you can do this, as you'll see in just a moment, with the Connector 2. But with this selected, you click on Behavior. And that'll bring up the Behavior dialog box here. And you've got this Placement tab that is certainly relevant in this instance here. So the Placement Behaviors lay out and route around. And you can change this to let Visio decide or do not lay out and route around. Or you can say Route Through horizontally or route through vertically. So you have some control over the behavior of the rerouting. Of course, if you select do not lay out and route around and click on OK, then when you move that there, then nothing happens. And of course, the reason why is because you've just told Visio that it should not reroute the connector. You can also select the connector itself and you have some behavior settings that you can tweak there. And again, you go to the shape design behavior, and the connector is essentially just another shape in the diagram. And the line routing, you can say reroute freely, reroute never, and so on. So if I go back here and just kind of undo things, I'll go to placement, and I will reroute. I'll lay out and route around. Then you can see what happens. And if I keep moving, it's going to reroute. But if I select the connector, behavior and on the connector I say we're never going to reroute click on OK then that's effectively the same thing one approach is deciding the behavior of the shape and then the other is deciding the behavior of the connector and of course as you can see there are lots of behaviors that you can potentially tweak both on the shape side and the connector side but I don't want to turn this into a half hour or an hour lessons on that level of minutia. This is how you govern the glue settings. This is how you govern basically the rerouting behavior of the connectors. And this again will just help you make heads and tails about what's happening with your connectors in Visio.